पेपर नंबर सिक्स फोर्टी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स टू सेवेंटी नो इन दिस सिक्सटी सिक्स टू सेवेंटी दिस फाइव आर बेस्ड ऑन सिलाजिजम्स नो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड द क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन फॉलोस इज इन इट देन नो स्कूल इज ए कॉलेज एसो हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस वन दिस इज स्कूल एंड दिस इज कॉलेज नो स्कूल इज ए कॉलेज एंड ऑल इंस्टीट्यूशन आर स्कूल्स ऑल द इंस्टीट्यूशन आर स्कूल्स नो स्कूल इज ए कॉलेज एंड नो स्कूल इज ए नर्सरी नो स्कूल इज ए नर्सरी मीन्स नो इंटरसेक्शन बिटवीन स्कूल एंड ए नर्सरी एंड नेक्स्ट ऑल किंडर गार्डन आर कॉलेजेस ऑल द किंडर गार्डन आर कॉलेजेस दिस इज द बेसिक डायग्राम इज इन इट एंड विद दिस वन नाउ लेट अ चेक ऑर द कंक्लूजन दैट फॉलोज फर्स्ट वन नो नर्सरी इज ए कॉलेज एज ऑफ नो नर्सरी इज शेयर कॉलेज इज शेयर डेफिनेटली ट्रू and no institute is a college no intersection between these two this is also true third one at least some kindergarten or schools and that is also false and fourth one some nurseries or colleges some nurseries or colleges this is also false hence among the given four conclusions only the sec first and the second conclusions followed and these two are what and these two are negative conclusions as these two are negative conclusions now we need to Prove this one in the alternate diagram by proving the complementary pair. Then what is the complementary pair to the first one? Now no nurseries or colleges means now we need to prove some other nurseries or colleges. Some nurseries or colleges tell me whether we can draw this nursery like this or not. If you draw nursery like this, then no nurseries. No. Now nursery and schools cannot be intersected. But whereas if I prove like this, no nurseries or colleges, some nurseries or colleges, all the statements are valid. and all the statements are valid alternate diagram proven previous conclusion will be false after making the previous conclusion false then we need to check out for what then we need to check out the affirmative conclusions which were false in the basic diagram why in order to check out either or case then the third one some kindergarten or schools now also that is remained as it is fourth one some nurseries or colleges now some nurseries or colleges has become true clear now when the first one is true fourth will be false when the first is false fourth will be true hence between these two either one or four follows done with this alternate diagram proven previous negative conclusion will be false at the same time the affirmative conclusion which was false in the basic diagram now it has become true hence it is either or then coming to the third one some kindergarten or schools and second one and what is the second conclusion here negative conclusion now to this one no institute is a college to prove this one false now we need to prove some other institutes or colleges now tell me whether we can represent like this some institute or colleges then if you represent college like this then some institutes or colleges will be true and if you prove like this then what happens here statement what is the statement no school is a nursery no school is a nursery is fine and no school is a college will become false that means statement invalid alternate diagram cannot be drawn that this will be true forever then what is your answer only to n either 1 or 4 to n either 1 or 4 that is choice 5 question number 66 choice 5 is the answer then 67 now in this question number 67 all these properties are what all properties are houses all the properties are houses can be written right represented like this all properties are houses no house is a shelter no intersection between house and a shelter and some shelters are families some other shelters are families can be written like this hence how many statements are there now some buildings are houses there is one more statement some buildings are houses building and house some buildings are houses all properties are houses and no proper no house is a shelter and some shelters are families then coming to the first conclusion some properties are building some properties are buildings that is false and second no family is a building no family is a building definitely true and third one no building is a property no building is a property that is also definitely true and some shelters are property properties now that is false as of now hence with the help of this basic diagram among these four conclusions only the second and the third conclusions follows and these two are negative conclusions and the first one and the fourth which are which are false they are affirmative conclusions then coming to the second one second conclusion no family is a building now in order to prove this one false now we need to draw some other families are buildings 
Now tell me whether we can represent some families or buildings or not. No, family and building can be intersected like this or not building. Now we can draw building like this, isn't it? Now building and house should be intersected and this family and family and this flat can be intersected. Families can be intersected, isn't it? Hence alternate diagram proven. As alternate diagram is proven, then no family is a building will be false because alternate diagram proven previous conclusion will be false. Done with this? Then coming to the third one. Now third one is a is another negative conclusion. Now to make this one false, now we need to prove some buildings are properties. Now some buildings are properties, building and property, tell me whether we can represent like this or not. Isn't it? Hence alternate diagram proven previous conclusion false. After making the previous conclusion false, then we need to check out for what? Then we need to check out for the affirmative conclusions. What are the affirmative conclusions here? Some properties are buildings. Some properties are buildings that will be true or not? And that will be definitely true. Hence, the first one, when it is true, third will be false. When the third is true, first will be false. Hence, what is your answer? Either one or three. Either one or three follows. Either one or three that is given in choice. Either one or three choice four is the answer. And next one. Then question number 68. Now in this 68, the statements all colors are paints. All these colors are paints can be represented like this. All paints are brushes. All colors are paints. All paints are brushes. All varnishes are colors. All the varnishes are what? Colors. All varnishes are colors. And next one, no brush is a tree. No brush is a tree. No intersection between these two. Done with this? And with the help of this one, first one, some brushes are colors. Brush and color definitely true. And second, all varnishes are brushes. That is also true. And third one, all varnishes are paint. And that is also true. And the fourth one, no tray is a color. No tray is a color that is true. As it is true here, now in order to make this one false, now we should go for an alternate diagram. Yes, what is the complementary pair to this? Tell me. Then, now some trays are colors. Some trays are colors means tray and color should be intersected. Now tray and color should be intersected means tray should be like this. Now tell me whether we can draw tray like this. If you draw tray like this, no. And no procedure tray will be false. And so alternate diagram cannot be drawn, and the previous conclusion will be true forever. And so all the given conclusions 1, 2, 3, and 4 follow. 1, 2, 3, 4, choice 1 is the answer. Next one, question number 69. Now, in this 69, the statements are some flowers or leaves. Some of the flowers or leaves can be represented like this. Some of the flowers or leaves, flower and leaf. And next one, no leaf is a root, no intersection between leaf and a root. No, leaf is a root. And next one, all leaves are thorns. All these leaves are what? All leaves are thorns. And some thorns are stems. Some of the stones, thorns are stems. Then the first one, some stems are leaves. Some of the stems are leaves, so that will be false. And second, all thorns are leaves. All these thorns are leaves, that is false. All leaves are thorns is true. But as all thorns are leaves is false. No root is a flower, definitely true as of now. And some stems are flowers, stem and flower, no intersection between these two, that is also false. And so among these four conclusions, only the third conclusion followed. And the third one is what? And third one is a negative conclusion. To make this one false, now we need to draw an alternate diagram. What is the complementary here? No root is a flower. Now we need to prove some other roots are flowers. Some roots are flowers, tell me whether root and flower can be written like this or not. And this root cannot be intersected with leaf, but as it can be intersected with the flower. And so alternate diagram proven and a previous conclusion will be false. Done with this? After making the previous conclusion false, now we need to check out for the either our case. Now the first one, some stems are leaves, that's again false. And second one, all thorns are leaves, and that's also false. And the fourth one, and some stems are leaves. Some stems are leaves, that will also be false. And so what is your answer? None of the given conclusions follow. None follow, that is choice two. None follows choice to is the answer 69. Then coming to question number 70. Now in this 70, some books are pages. Some of the books are pages can be written as, these are the books which are pages. 
there is an intersection between book and page. All pages are letters. All these pages are letters and no letter is a post. No letter is a post can be written like this and all mails are post. All the mails are post. Now this is the basic diagram. All mails are post. All mails are post. All mails are post. No post is a letter and all pages are letters and some books are pages. Then what is the first conclusion here? No page is a mail. No page is a mail. Is it true or false? No. No letter is a post. Letter and post. This is post. And whatever the first one here? All pages. Now this is page. And the first conclusion, no page is a mail. Definitely true. And the second, no book is a post. Book and post. This is also definitely true. And no mail is a letter. And this is also true. And fourth one, some letters are book. Then this is also true. And so given all the given four conclusions followed. And among these four which follows, the first three are what? Negative conclusions. And now we need to cross check whether they are 100% is true or not. Then coming to the first one, no page is a mail. Now in order to make this one false, now we need to prove some other pages are mail. Page and mail should be intersected like this. Now tell me whether we can write this mail like this. If you write mail like this, all mails are post, post will also come along with this one. If post comes along with this one, no letter is a post will become false. Statement invalid, alternate diagram cannot be drawn and the first conclusion will be true forever. Done with this? Then coming to the second one, no book is a post. Now to make this one false, no book is a post, now we need to prove some other books are post. Now tell me book and post can be written, can be written like this or not post? If post is here, all mails are post, mail will also come along with this one. All the statements are valid, alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Then coming to the third one, no mail is a letter. As no mail is a letter is true, to make this one false, now we need to prove some other mails are letters. Some mails are letters means mail and letters should be intersected like this. If you write mail like this, all mails are post, post will also come along with this one. If post comes along with this one, no letter is a post, the statement will be invalid. Alternate diagram false, isn't it? Hence, previous conclusion will be true forever. Then what happened to the fourth one here? The fourth one is an affirmative that will be true forever. Then what is your answer? 1, 3 and 4 follow. 1, 3 and 4 that is given in choice. 3. Done with this? Now this is about question number 66 to 70. Syllogisms. Now in this one, four conclusions were there. Four statements followed by four conclusions. Then, after then, 71 to 75. And the next one is question number 71 to 75. In this one, what is information here? J, K, L, M, N, O, and P make different handicrafts, purses, wages, isn't it? Frames, basket mats, and so on, but not necessarily. And each one of them belongs to a different city as well, isn't it? Hence, it comes under which category? It comes under distribution. As it comes under distribution, hence which one should be fixed at the first position? Now the persons, J, K, L, M, N, O, and P are the persons here. Now first we need to fix the persons here. J, K, L, M, N, O, and P. Isn't it? O, P, o and P. And they make different articles. And at the same time, and what is the other parameter given here? And they are from different cities as well. Then coming to condition number one. Yes, what about condition number one here? And each one of them is from a different city. And first condition, M makes cards. Information clearly given about this M. Now this M is making cards. Hence, write down cards. M make cards, isn't it? After this M makes cards, then what is the other information given here? M makes cards and P is from partner. Now P from partner is also clearly given. Now this P is from partner. P is from partner and P is from partner and does not make purses. And P does not make purses. Hence purses, write down purses and put a cross. Done with this? Write down purse and put a cross. And this is how to represent the data in this one. J makes basket. Now J, basket, and J makes baskets, and is from Kolkata. The city is also clearly given. Kolkata is fixed. 
and course is fixed at the same time partner is also fixed basket and next one the one from chandigarh makes mat mat and chandigarh must always go together isn't it as of now we cannot represent the data because how many possibilities we can have either k can be from chandigarh l can be from chandigarh isn't it and o and so on there are four different possibilities hence as of now we cannot represent the data hence below the article write the article and below the city write the city then the one from chandigarh makes mats k does not make purses and k k does not make purses and next one and frames and wages frames and wages now this k does not make any one of this purses is ruled out frame is ruled out wage is also ruled out and at the same time basket and cards were also ruled out why because j is basket and m is card five were ruled out now we are left with the remaining two what are the remaining two either mat or hat are you following this one or not because purse frame and wage were ruled out now basket and cards were also ruled out and this k can be either hat or mat either hat or mat are you following this one or not then k does not make purses and frames and wages k is not from mumbai delhi and chandigarh now this k is not from mumbai delhi and chandigarh this k is not from chandigarh as well as k is not from chandigarh this k cannot make mat as well as this k cannot make mat and so what is the only thing left over here this k has to make hat as this k makes hat now let us discuss about the cities now the cities is also clearly given what is the cities is talking about now and k is not from mumbai delhi chandigarh were ruled out mumbai is ruled out and delhi is ruled out isn't it mumbai delhi and chandigarh is also ruled out mumbai delhi chandigarh at the same time kolkata and patna were also ruled out are you following this one or not hence mumbai delhi chandigarh mumbai delhi chandigarh and patna and kolkata now we are left with chennai and what is the other city left over here chennai and nagpur and chennai and nagpur are the two cities left over to this k done with this and k is not from mumbai delhi and chandigarh p l and n do not make frames now p does not make frame and what are the remaining two p l and n l frames is ruled out and n frame is also ruled out frame cannot be here cannot be here cannot be here now j cannot be frame k cannot be frame l frame is ruled out m is also ruled out n ruled out and p is ruled out hence frame is o hence this o makes frames done with this o makes frames and l does not make mats k is not from chandigarh p l and n do not make frames l does not make mat l does not make mat hence mats here is ruled out l is not mat j cannot be mat k cannot be mat l cannot be mat m cannot be mat o cannot be mat and p can be from mat or not whether p makes mats or not no why if p makes mat he belongs to he must belongs to chandigarh but as as p is already from patna and this person cannot make mat as well then what is the only possibility left to this mat and this n must make mats done with this now we are left with the remaining two what are the remaining two basket hat card mat and frames were done now we are left with the remaining two what are the remaining two articles hats cards purses wages frames then wages now wages if you take here now we are left with frame and purse now this p cannot make p cannot make purse isn't it as p purse is ruled out and then who makes purses here l makes purses if l makes purses then what is the other thing left over here wages and so who makes wages this p makes wages done with this and this is how these persons are making different then what is the other thing? j k l m n o and p and p is wages then tell me what is the other thing left over here now we need to find out the cities and o is not from chennai mumbai and delhi o chennai is ruled out mumbai is ruled out and delhi is also ruled out as mat is already been find 
finally is here and this Chandigarh must be at this place. Isn't it? Chandigarh. And Chandigarh is met. Then coming to this O, O cannot be Chennai, does not belong to Mumbai and Delhi. Mumbai, Delhi and Chennai were ruled out. At the same time, Kolkata, Chandigarh and Patna were ruled out. Then what is the only thing left over here? And this person must be Nagpur. And this O is from Nagpur. If this O is from Nagpur, now earlier we had discussed about this K, as K can be either from either from Chennai or Nagpur, out of which Nagpur is ruled out. Because who is from Nagpur here? O is from Nagpur. Hence K cannot be from Nagpur once again. And this person must be Chennai. If this person is Chennai, then M is not from Mumbai. As M is not from Mumbai, then who is from Mumbai? He is here. L is from Mumbai. If L is from Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Mumbai, Chandigarh, Nagpur, Patna. Tell me what is the other thing left over here? Delhi. And who will be from Delhi? M is from Delhi. Done with this? Now if you observe here, we have read the information only once from top to bottom, isn't it? And at the same time in these type of questions, representing the data plays a very, very vital role. Now so this is how we have represented the data. Then we have to infer okay, some outside data from the given data only. Because most of the information will be given about no, no and no. Isn't it? From there we need to infer some information. Done with this, write down this arrangement. J basket Kolkata, K hats Chennai, L purses Mumbai, M cards Delhi, N mats Chandigarh, O frames Nagpur, and P wages Patna. And this is about question number 71 to 75. Then next to 71 to 75, now let us start with question number 76 to 80. Then question number 76 to 80. As completed writing this arrangement, then in this 76 to 80, these questions are based on coded inequalities. And coded inequalities, first we need to decode the given symbols here. Now this copyright stands for neither greater than nor equals to. Now P copyright Q means P is neither greater than nor equals. Neither greater than nor equals means it must be lesser than, isn't it? Hence, copyright stands for lesser than. And next one, hash stands for neither smaller nor equal to, hence, hash stands for greater than. At the rate of means not greater than, not smaller than, it must be equals to. And not smaller than, it means it must be greater than or equals to. And dollar stands for not greater than, it must be lesser than or equals to. Done with this? Now, what are the symbols given here? This copyright. Now, this copyright stands for what? Copyright stands for not neither greater nor equal, it must be lesser than, and a hash stands for neither smaller nor equal. Neither smaller nor equal, it must be greater than, and at the rate of stands for what? At the rate of neither greater than nor smaller than, it must be equals to, and star stands for, now this star stands for not smaller than, as it is not smaller than, it must be greater than or equals to, and dollar, now this dollar stands for lesser than or equals to. Done with this? Then, among the given conditions here. Then question number, in the given question, assuming the given statements to be true, find out which of the given four conclusions, one, two, three, four follows, isn't it? Then question number one. Now in this question number 76, tell me what are the symbols here at the rate of? At the rate of means T equals to R, isn't it? Now if you observe here, all the elements T to R, R to U, and U to M, M to N, all these are in a sequential order. Hence, directly write down the symbols, expression. T at the rate of means T equals to R, T and R are one and the same. R star U star stands for R greater than R equals to U. And U hash means U greater than M. And M star, M star means M is greater than R equals to N. Isn't it? Then, now first one copyright. N is lesser than T. Now T is here, N is here. Now between T and N, which symbol is common here? Only greater than is common. T greater than N is true. N less than T is also true. Then coming to the second conclusion, R hash, R greater than M. R is here and M is here between these two letters. R greater than M is also true. And next, copyright stands for lesser than. 
n less than r and between r and n r greater than n n less than r that is also definitely true and t and u t is torus stands for t greater than u between t and u tell me what is the symbol here t is either greater than r equals but as here this torus stands for greater than and t is always greater than is false it can be equal as well and for your answer only 1 2 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 what is your answer fourth one what is star star stands for greater than or equals now the relation between sorry t and u now between t and u t equals to r t greater than or equals to u this is also true isn't it now the star stands for greater than or equals to and so all the given four conclusions follow choice two is the answer question number 76 it is choice four then coming to question number 77 now in the 77 again star stands for greater than or equals to s greater than or equals to t and t dollar dollar is t less than or equals to a and a copyright a less than i and i star i greater than or equals to p then first one s star s greater than or equals to i and dollar stands for less than or equals to and this is again less than or equals to and this is again less than or equal now the relation between s and i between these two, one greater than, one less than, two opposite symbol, this is false. And second one, the relation between T and I. Less than or equals to less than. T less than I is true. Equal to I is false. And P and A. Between A and P, one less than, one greater than, this is also false, two opposite symbols. Between T and P, there is one less than and one greater than, this is also false. And so none of the given conclusions is true. Choice 4 is the answer. And 77, it is choice 4. Then coming to question number 78. Now in the 78, F dollar. Dollar stands for what? Dollar is less than or equals to F less than or equals to B. And B at the rate of means B equals to R and A dollar. A dollar stands for A is less than or equals to R. That means A less than or equals to R means now R to A. R greater than or equals to A. Isn't it? And at the same time A copyright A less than Y. And this is the final expression here y hash y greater than f as y greater than f between f and y there are two opposite symbols lesser than greater than this is false second one a dollar dollar stands for a lesser than or equals to b now between b and a b greater than or equals to a a lesser than or equals to b definitely true next one r star r greater than or equals to f f lesser than or equals to r r greater than or equals to f this is also true and next one a dollar a less than or equals to f. f between f and a there are two opposite symbols this is false and so the answer is only 2 and 3 choice 1 is the answer. Question number 78 it is choice 1. Then coming to question number 79 f copyright means f less than l l star star means l greater than or equals to o and o hash o greater than w and W at the rate of W and R are one and the same. And first one has stands for L greater than W and at the rate of means equals to and R copyright means lesser than and a has stands for greater than. Then first one L greater than W. Between L and W, the symbol which is common is greater than L greater than W, definitely true. L equals to W, that is false because L greater than W is true, R and O. Between O greater than R is true, which implies that R less than O is also true. And L greater than R, between L and R only greater than A is true. And so what is your answer? 1, 3 and 4. 1, 3 and 4 choice please. Choice 4 is the answer. Question number 79, it is choice 4, 1, 3 and 4. Then coming to question number 80, now in this one dollar. Y dollar means Y greater than R equals to P. And P at the rate of means P equals to S. And S copyright means S less than T and T dollar and T less than R equals to M. Then coming to the conclusion, set the rate of means S equals to Y and a hash stands for greater than and S greater than Y and this dollar stands for less than R equals to. Then the relation between S and Y. S and Y, Y less than R equals to S. That means S is greater than R equals to Y. S can be either greater than R equals to Y. Hence between the first and the third, and in the third one it is greater than and in the first one it is equals to and say either one or three. Done with this? As of now either one or three. Then coming to the second and the fourth. Now the second one the relation between P and T. 
P less than T, T greater than P is also true, and ascend M, S less than M is true, but whereas here E equals to M is false. Then what is your answer? 2 and either 1 or 3. 2 and either 1 or 3, choice 2 is the answer. Now this is about question number 76 to 80, coded inequalities. Then after this 76 to 80, then question number 81 to 85. Now in this 81 to 85, tell me what is the information here? Now it is based on a seating arrangement. P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, N, W are the eight persons seated around a circular table, but not necessarily in the same order. And only two persons are facing the center. As among these eight persons, two are facing the center, means the remaining six persons are away from the center. Done with this? Only two persons are facing the center, and the remaining persons are away from the center. Then, now eight persons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then what is the first information here? Q sits a second to the right of W, and W faces outside. Information clearly specified, this W is facing outside, isn't it? As this W is facing outside is clearly given in this one. W is facing outside, hence W is here. Now this W is facing away from the center. And Q sits a second to the right of W, Q will be at this place. Q sits a second to the right of W, isn't it? W is facing away from the center. Then only two people between Q and T. As only two people between Q and T, tell me how many possibilities we can have? Two possibilities. And T can be here, or what is the other possibility wherein we can have this T? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now this W is away from the center, and Q is here. Only two people between Q and T, T must be here. Only two people between Q and T. Immediate neighbors of T facing the center. As immediate neighbors of T are facing the center, and so these two persons must be facing the center. The second case is completely ruled out. Why? Because immediate neighbor of T is W. W is facing away from the center. The second case is ruled out. Then, immediate neighbors of T face the center. And next one, R sits a second to the right of V. R sits a second to the right of V. V is neither an immediate neighbor of Q nor W. V cannot be here. And V cannot be here. And V cannot be here. And so many possibilities we can have? Only two possibilities. V can be either here or here. Isn't it? Now tell me whether V can be at this place or not. If V is here, then R sits a second to the right of V. Now this V is facing the center. As V is facing the center, then Q and R must be in the same place, which is not possible. Isn't it? Which implies that V cannot be at this place. As V cannot be here, then what is the only possibility? V must be here. If V is here, R will be here. Done with this? R sits a second to the right of V. And this V is neither an immediate neighbor of Q nor W. Now we could be able to finalize the positions of this V and R as well. Then now, sir, if you observe here, R and V are the two persons facing the center. Now in the description clearly specified, only two persons are facing towards the center. As two are facing the center, all the remaining persons must be away from the center. Done with this? Now the directions can be finalized. Then V is neither an immediate neighbor of Q nor W. P sits to the immediate left of Q. As P is an immediate left of Q, Q is away, and so P must be here. If P is here, then W is not an immediate neighbor of S. S at this place in between Q and R, then who is the other person left over? U is the person left over, U must be at this place. Done with this? Now this is how these eight persons are seated around a circular table. Two towards the center, and the remaining six are away from the center. Let's write down this arrangement. Question numbers 81 to 85. Next to 81 to 85, then let us start with question numbers 86 to 90. Now these five questions 86 to 90 are based on input and output, isn't it? Then, now in this 86 to 90 first, tell me what is information provided here. Now in, an input set of numbers and words were given. Now followed by input of how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In total we have some 10 elements. And how many steps are there? Only 8 steps are there. That means in each step exactly one element has been arranged rather than 2, 2 elements. Then, now let us check out the pattern here. 
now first to find out the logic involved in this one in order to find out the logic first we need to compare the input with the final output what is the final output here step 8 is the final output now in the final output check all the elements t s p l and i now all the words are arranged in the descending order then coming to these numbers 15 21 33 54 71 now the numbers are in the ascending order the logic is first five words were arranged in the first five places followed by the numbers from from position number 6 to 10 now these first five words are arranged in the descending order followed by the numbers in the ascending order then the logic has been finalized now let us discuss about the pattern followed in this now from input to step one what is the only change we can able to find out 15 now this 15 is arranged at the last place now 15 is the least number the least number arranged at the last place that is in step one all the remaining were shifted to the next places isn't it and next one then step one to step two after this 15 then what is the next word here now trace has been arranged at the first place clear now that means the highest word least number at the last place highest word at the first place in step two next number word next number should be arranged from the right hand side and the next number to 15 is what 21 and it's 21 arranged at the last place 15 shifted to the left place that is in step 3 then in step 2 after this trace and the next one is what ship now this ship is arranged next word after this trace and in step 4 next in step 5 the number and in step 6 what is the next one here the phase and in step 7 the next number 33 and in step 8 the word isn't it word will be arranged hence by doing so all the words as well as the numbers will be arranged and each step exactly one element has been arranged first starting with the number and next followed by the word done with this and this is how these five questions will be arranged now if you observe here all the questions are based on a single input whenever these are based on a single input it is always advisable for you to work out the procedure okay then and this is about question number 86 to 90 then 91 to 95 now question numbers 91 to 95 these questions are based on data sufficiency now in this data sufficiency now three statement data sufficiency whenever three statement three statement data sufficiency is given now we need to go through the choices only and the first priority should always be for only one only two only three such type of statements choices followed by combination of two two statements one and two one and three two and three finally all the three should be added then now first choice what is first choice here all are required and second choice is one and three and fourth one one and two and fifth one two and three now only single statement is not given here now we need to go for the combination of two two then first one choice two what is choice to here one and three now tell me with the help of one and three could we able to determine the code to the word kind or not kind words are sweet that is one and was not listening words yes what is the word which is common between these two words is the only word which is common hence by combining one and three we can able to determine the code to the word word rather than kind hence one and three is not sufficient and two is ruled out and next one choice four if you observe here one and two now if you compare one and two kind words are sweet and what is the next one here sweet was not added yes tell me what are the words which are common between these two Sweet is the only word which is common. As yes, sweet is the only word which is common here, then what is the code common here? Only. As yes, what is the code which is common between these two? K A D E. And here, kind is not the word which is common here. Hence, with the help of this one also, we cannot able to determine the answer. Then choice four is also ruled out. Two and three. Now, if you combine two and three, sweet was not added. Was not was and not are the two words which are common here but as we cannot able to find out the code because kind is nowhere present in this one at all and this is also ruled out hence choice two ruled out choice four ruled out choice five ruled out now we are left with one or one or three now out of this one or three by combining all this tell me by combining all this whether we can able to determine the answer or not now we need to find out the code to the word kind kind was there in the first statement only isn't it then if you combine the first and the third words will be now we can able to find out the code to the word words then r and sweet r and sweet sweet is the word which is common between these two sweet and sweet 
Now we are left with R and kind. R and kind is nowhere repeated in any one of the remaining statements. Hence, by combining these two also, these three also we cannot able to determine. Hence, one is also ruled out. Finally, we are left with choice three. Done with this? By combining all the three statements also, we cannot able to determine the code to the word kind. Hence, question number 91, choice three is the answer. Done with this? 91, it is choice three. Then, after this 91, question number 92. Yes, 92. Now, this is again based on data sufficiency. Now, in this, of the seven people, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, standing in a straight line facing north, who is seated second to the left of T? Now, we need to identify the person who is seated second to the left hand side of T. Now, in order to identify this one, what are the statements that are sufficient? Then again, now going through the choices here, first choice is for all the three statements, second one, one and two, third one, two and three, and fifth one, one and three, isn't it? Then, now in this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then, can choice 1. Now, choice 1 cannot be answered even by combining all three. And choice 2, only 1 and 2. Now, in this only 1 and 2, now tell me what about condition number 1 here? S is 4 to the left of Q. S is 4 to the left of Q, 1, 2, 3. S is 4 to the left of Q can be represented like this. Then, S is 4 to the left of Q. R is seated second to the right of Q. R is seated second to the right of Q. Tell me how many persons were involved in this one? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All the seven persons were involved, isn't it? Hence, by combining with the help of the first condition itself, we can able to finalize some portion of this arrangement. S, Q and R were fixed. Then, then by combining the second. What is second one here? V is an immediate neighbor of P. As V is an immediate neighbor of P, and T is an immediate neighbor of Q. As T is an immediate neighbor of Q, T can be either here or here. Isn't it? As there are two possibilities to this T, second one to the left hand side of T, there will, will have some two possibilities. Hence, one and two is not sufficient. Are you following this one or not? Hence, choice two is ruled out. Then coming to choice three. What is choice three here? Two and three. Now in this two and three, V is an immediate neighbor of P, and T is an immediate neighbor of Q. V is four through the left of T. V is 4 to the left, if T is here, 1, 2, 3, V will be here. And P is to the immediate left of U. V is an immediate neighbor of P. T is an immediate neighbor of Q. As T is an immediate neighbor of Q, from here one by combining this one also, yes, we cannot able to determine the answer, isn't it? Because the positions were not clearly fixed in this one, unlike statement 1. Hence, 1 and 3 is also not sufficient. Then we need to check out is yes. no choice two we have checked out choice three also we have done and choice five now in choice five only one and three one is here then what about three v is four through the left of t if you take t at this place v four through the left of t is it possible not possible as it is not possible there hence t will be here if t is here one two three four v sits four through the left of t we can have v at this place if v is here then P is to the immediate left of U. As P is to the immediate left of U, P will be here and U will be here. Are we getting the answer or not? And by combining which is two statements, are we getting the answer? Only by combining one and three. And together, one and three, choice five is the answer. With the help of these two, are we getting the answer or not? Choice five. It is not 1, 2, and 3. As you are getting the answer with 1 and 3, if you combine 2, then also you will get the answer. Isn't it? But the correct answer is only 1 and 3 are sufficient. 2 is not required along with 1 and 3 in order to get the answer. 92. Then coming to question number 93. Now in this 93, in which month of the year 2012 did Rahil join the bank? Now we need to find out the month in which this Rahil joined the bank. And to that one, tell me what are the choices that are required. Now, choice if you have here 1 and 2. 1 is the bank held the recruitment drive of 2012 after March but before September. After March, before September, it could be either April, isn't it? May, June, July, isn't it? June, July, and August. And so, how many months are there? There are five months. The bank held the recruitment drive of 2012 after March but before September, April, May, June, July, August. 
and this is about condition number one. Second one, Rahil re resigned from his previous job after May but before December. After May but before December, hence it could be June, July, August and up to November, isn't it? Hence, 1 and 2 is not sufficient because either June, July or August. Then, choice 3, only 2 and 3. Now, if you combine these 2 and 3, Rahil resigned from his pre previous job between May and December. Rahil joined the bank after July. Rahil after the July, but before November. After July, before November, now here May and December, how many months are there? June, July, August, September, October and November. Isn't it? There were some six months. Now in the third one, after July means, then how many are left after August, September, October, November, December? And so five months are there, two and three is also not sufficient. Isn't it? Then, what is the other choice here? One and three. If you combine one and three with the help of one, what is the answer you are getting here? April, May, June, July, August. And this is about one. And, but before September. And what about three? After July and before November. After July, before November, tell me, what is the only month, one month which is common? August. Are we getting the answer or not? And by combining which two are we getting the answer? 1 and 3. As 1 and 3 are required choice 4 is the answer. 93 choice 4. Then 94, RST, UV and W. Now 6 persons were there. Now we need to find out the shortest among these 6 persons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Isn't it? As tell me who are those 6 persons? RST, UV. RST, UV and W are the 6 persons. Now we need to find out the person who is the shortest among these six. And tell me among these six, R, S, T, U, V, N, W, condition number one. And then, first choice, all the three. Now let us go for choice two. Now in choice two, only one and two are sufficient. Only one and two, if you take here, one is, V is taller than only three people. As V is taller than only three people, and so where should this be? V must be at the third place. Isn't it? V is taller than three people. As V is taller than only three people and T is taller than W. T is taller than W, isn't it? Now with the help of condition number one, tell me what we can able to determine here. V and T cannot be at the last place. V and T cannot be at the last place by combining statement one. Then what about condition number two here? U and R are taller than V. As U and R are taller than V, U and R, U and R can be in any order. U and R are taller than V, T is shorter than S. As T is shorter than S, as C is shorter than T, isn't it? Now, by combining 1 and 2, if you observe here, now V is at this place, V cannot be at the last place, U and R are at the first two places, and U and R cannot be at this place, isn't it? And the remaining, this S cannot be at the last place because S and T are taller than W, and S cannot be here, T cannot be here, then who is the person here? W is the person. Done with this? Are we getting the answer or not? Now, though we are not focused on the arrangement, but whereas we have focused about only the person who can be at the last place. Are we getting the answer or not? Though the order is not specified, but whereas we can able to find out the, finalize the person who is the shortest. Hence, in order to get this answer, which statement is required? Only one and two is sufficient. As one and two is sufficient, choice two. And 94, it is choice to is done. So then coming to question number 95. As question number 95, now A, B, C, D, F, and G are the six members of a family. Now in total, how many persons are there? There are six members of a family. A through G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven members of a family. Who among them is the son of A? Now we need to find out who among them is the son of A. Then choice two, one and three. In the 1 and 3, if you combine here, F is, the, F is married to D. F is married to D, F and D are married couple. And condition number 3, and B is the husband of C, F is the father of E. F is the father of E, and B is the husband of C. Now, if you take 1 and 3, there is no information about A at all. Hence, 1 and 3 is not at all sufficient. Are you following this one or not? Then coming to choice 3. Now, choice 3, 1 and 2. Now, in choice 3, 3, 1 and 2, F and D, F and D, F is the F is married to D, and A is the wife of G. G has only two children, C and F. As G has only two children, C and F, G has only two children, C and F, 
and a is the wife of z a is the wife of z. as a is the wife of z g is the husband of a now the question is about what now the question is about who among the following is the son of a as tell me who is the son of a can you able to determine the answer c and f for the children of this a and between these two persons who is male that is not clearly known and this choice is also ruled out done with this hence choice 2 is ruled out and choice 1 and 3 is ruled out and next one 1 and 2 is also ruled out the next one 2 and 3 now in this 2 and 3 what is 2 here a is the wife of g a is the wife of g can be written like this a is a female g is a male a is the wife of g next one g has only two children c and f this g is having two children one is c and another one is f and next one and what is the third condition here third one is b is the husband of c as b is the husband of c b is a male husband of c c a female b is the husband of c f is the father of e f is the father of e a f is the father of e there are two children to this a out of which c is the daughter and f is the son are you getting the answer or not as so who is the son of a f is the son of a and by combining which two are we getting the answer here only by combining 2 and 3 choice 4 is the answer now this is about question number 95 91 to 95 data sufficiency based on three statements then afterwards question numbers 96 to 100 now in this 96 to 100 now this is regarding seven persons who are those seven persons a b c d e f and g and live on separate floors of a seven storied building now it comes under floor arrangement seven six five four 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 are the 7 floors. Now, 7 persons are staying on these 7 different floors, isn't it? And then who are those 7 persons? A, B, C, D, E, F, and G are the 7 persons. 7 persons, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G are the 7 persons who are staying on 7 different floors of an apartment. Then, and each person likes, each person likes different vegetables, cabbage, potato, tomato, onion, carrot, and so on and each person has different weight of their favorite vegetable okay, varies from 1 kg to 10 kg it can be 7 different kg from 1 to 10 and the weight of onion is more than 2 kg onion is more than 2 kg onion and onion is more than 2 kg onion the weight of onion is more than 2 kg and next one the total weight of carrot and radish is 10 radish plus carrot as yes, what is the total weight of these two 10 then radish and this one is 10 the weight of onion is more than radish and carrot is 10 kg the person who likes onion lives on floor number 4 and onion floor number 4 now we can able to fix onion at this place onion is at floor number 4 then next one and A does not live on the lower most floor A does not live on the lower most floor and A lives on an odd number floor below the one who likes onion. Below the one who likes onion, odd number floor, onion is fourth floor. Below this one either one or three, out of which one is not possible because this A does not live on lowermost floor. And so where should this A? A must be on the third floor. Are you following this one or not? A must be here. If A is here, then A lives on an odd number floor below the one who likes onion. Only two persons live between A and the one who likes beans. A and the one who likes beans, only two people want to. Yes, tell me, where should the person, beans, who likes beans is staying on the sixth floor? Because only two people, two persons live between A and the one who likes beans. And only one person likes between B and F. Now, between B and F, there must be exactly one person. Only one person between B and F. And the total weight of cabbage is, the square of the total weight of carrot. And the total weight of cabbage is the square of carrot isn't it hence what is the different possibilities we can have one and one square which is not possible and two and four and three and nine as two and four three and nine then only one person lives between b and f the total weight of cabbage is square of the total weight of carrot and cabbage is the square of carrot then tell me what is the possibility of this carrot as tell me what is the weight of this carrot Carrot can be either 2 or 3. Is it possible or not? If carrot is 2, if carrot is 2, 
then what about cabbage if cabbage and carrot i'm talking about and if carrot is 2 cabbage will be 4 or if carrot is 3 cabbage will be 9 isn't it and there are two possibilities to this carrot and cabbage and the total weight of the cabbage is square of the total weight of carrot while the total weight of bean is the square of bean is the square of the total weight of onion and bean is the square of total weight of onion hence now if cabbage is 4 and carrot will be 2 isn't it then what is the other possibility we have now regarding this bean the total weight of bean is square of the total weight of onion now onion is more than 2 as onion is more than 2 then what is the weight of this onion onion must be 3 kg if onion is 3 kg then this beans will be 9 kg isn't it if beans is this one 3 and 9 is ruled out now carrot is 2 kg if carrot is 2 kg and cabbage will be 4 cabbage 4 kg carrot 2 kg and radish whatever this radish here radish must be 8 kg are you following this one or not okay because radish plus carrot must be 10 kg then f lives on an even number floor and does not like onion f even number floor does not like onion and f can be either 6 or 2 f can be 6 or 2 now if f is 6 then b will be 4 or if f is 2 b will be 4 in both the cases where should this f be f is 6 b will be 4 and this f is not f like lives on an odd number floor and f can be either 2 or 6 there are only two possibilities isn't it and does not like onion if f is on the 6th floor then where should this person f and b b must be on the 4th floor or if f is on the second floor then also b must be on the fourth floor and in both the cases b must be on the fourth floor only are you following this one or not then if b is here f can be 6 or 2 and next one f lives on an even number floor and does not like onion only three persons live between the one who likes cabbage and tomato between cabbage and tomato there must be exactly three people three people between cabbage and the one who likes tomato tomato and cabbage there must be exactly three people then if cabbage or tomato are on the first floor and the other person must be 1 2 3 fifth floor one or five and if cabbage or tomato is on the second one the next one is not possible or 3 and 7 1 5 and 3 and 7 are the only two possibilities to this cabbage and tomato only three persons lives between the one who likes cabbage and tomato what are the possibilities we can have 1 5 or 3 7 isn't it 1 5 3 7 then what is the next information we have and the person who likes cabbage live on the one who likes cabbage lives on any floor above bees floor cabbage is on any floor above bees floor and cabbage can be either 5 or 7 isn't it cabbage is 5 or 7 tomato can be 1 or 3 follow through and cabbage can be 5 or 7 and tomato can be 1 or 3 then cabbage live on the floor above bees floor on any one of the floors the person who likes cabbage does not live on the top most floor cabbage does not live on the top most floor cabbage seventh is ruled out as cabbage seven is ruled out now this cabbage must be on the fifth floor isn't it as cabbage is on the fifth floor then what is the weight weight of this cabbage it must be 4 kg and between cabbage and tomato there must be exactly 3 and the one who likes tomato must be on the first floor and cabbage we have done with this one and carrot carrot is 2 next one g lives on an even number floor g even number floor g can be either 2 or 6 either 2 or 6 but neither immediately above nor immediately below a hence the g cannot be on the second floor a g cannot be on the second floor and so g must be on the sixth floor if g is on the sixth floor then this f 2 or 6 is ruled out f cannot be on the sixth floor f must be on the second floor done with this f is on the second floor and g lives on an even number floor but neither immediately above nor immediately below a and c does not like cabbage as c does not like cabbage and so should this c c must like tomato isn't it c does not like sorry there is one more possibility right and c can be either on the first floor or on the seventh floor and c does not like cabbage 
and C cannot be 5. As C cannot be 5, next one. Cabbage, C does not like cabbage or tomato. Hence, C cannot be on the first floor, C cannot be on the and fifth floor. Hence, C must be on the seventh floor. Then, if C is on the seventh floor and only two persons live between D and the one who likes onion. D and the onion, there must be exactly two people. Hence, D must be on the first floor. If D is on the first floor, then tell me who is the other person? E is on the fifth floor. E is on the fifth floor. Done with this? And only two people live between D and the one who likes onion. And the person who likes carrot lives on the floor immediately above the floor radish. Carrot is immediately above the floor of radish. And tell me what is the only possibility? Carrot must be on the third floor and radish must be on the second floor. And if these two are finally, then what is the vegetable left over here? Potato. Now this potato, the one who likes potato must be on the seventh floor. Then coming to this one, the weights of this one, cabbage, cabbage is 4 kgs and carrot is 2 kgs and next one and radish is 8 kgs. Now these are left over here. Now we are left with 2 more and the difference between the weight of the tomato and radish is 2 kgs. Tomato and radish is 2 kgs and 8 plus 2, 10 or or 6 and 6 or 10. Now the weights are in from 1 to 10 and next one 6 or 10, 10 then what is the possibility of this one either it could be 6 or 10, 6 or 10 then what is the other information here the person who likes carrot difference is 2 kg the floor number and the weight of the favorite vegetable of is same for the person C then C the floor and this one is one and the same is staying on 7th floor and the weight, is a, weight of this potato is also 7 kg. Now regarding this tomato we can able we cannot able to determine the weight could be either 6 or 10 is not it. Carrot weight 2 kg. Now the sum of these two is so much. 10, <coughs> onion is more than 2, another, as onion is more than 2, now we have 2 squares, 2, 4 out of all is 3, 9 out of all, is not it, 2, 4, carrot 2, two eight, cabbage 4, next onion 3, eight, next one beans will be 9, onion 3, eight, chance on the, onion 2, eight, chance on the because onion is more than 2 kg, as onion cannot be 2, hence onion must be 3 kg. If onion is 3, beans will be 9. A 3, 9 are square, both in chemical and square and a 2 and 4. Carrot is 2 and cabbage will be 4. If carrot is 2, sum of carrot plus radish is 10, radish will be 8. Done? And this is about question numbers 96 to 100. 93. Then question number 93. Yes, completed. Anything else in this paper? Number series. Question numbers, please, in number series 51 to 55. Now, question numbers 51 to 55. Now, in this question number 51, as 21, 11, 12, 19.5, and so on. As the numbers are increasing at 21 and 11, how can you express this one 21 and 11? 21 into 0.5, fine. Now 21 into 0.5 is how much? 10.5. 10.5 plus 0.5 will be 11. Next one, 11 into 1 plus 1, that is 12. 12 into 1.5 is 18 plus 1.5 is 19. 19.5. Next one, 19.5 into 2 plus 2, that will be 41. If 41 into 2.5 plus 2.5. 41 into 2.5 plus 2.5, what is 41 into 2? 82. And 41 into 0 0.5, 20.5. That is 82 plus 20.5. That will be 102.5 plus 2.5 will be, what is your answer here? 105. 105 that is given in choice 5. Done with this? 105, choice 5 is the answer. The given numbers are multiplied with into 0 0.5 plus 0.5, into 1 plus 1, into 1.5 plus 1.5, into 2 plus 2, and into 2.5 plus 2.5, 51. Then coming to question number 52. Now in this question number 52, 319, now the numbers are decreasing at a very smaller rate, hence we need to go for the difference. 
as tell me what is the difference between these two minus 2 and 317 and 9 326 the difference between these two is 9 and the next one 26 and 98 as tell me what is the difference here the difference between these two is 28 minus 28 and 98 and 363 now the difference between these two is 65 then minus 2 plus 9 minus 28 plus 65 then tell me what are these numbers 2 can be written as 1 cube plus 1 and 9 can be written as 2 cube plus 1 28 can be written as 3 cube plus 1 and 65 can be written as 4 cube plus 1. Next one is 5 cube plus 1. What is 5 cube plus 1? 130. As it is 130, now what are these numbers here? Minus plus minus plus minus and the next one 363 minus 130. What is 363 minus 130? The last digit must be what? Now sir, now this must be 126 right? 126 minus 126 minus 126 and 13 minus 6 is 7 among the given choices 7 is given in only in choice 1. <coughs> Sir, the difference between the numbers is n cube plus 1. Then question number 53. Now in this 53, now the numbers are in the decreasing order. Whenever the numbers are in the decreasing order, we should always start in the reverse order one. 5 into 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11 and here 11 into 2 plus 1 is 23 and 23 into 2 plus 1 is 45. 7 and 47 into 2 plus 1 this will be 95 hence now something into 2 plus 1 must be 5 hence 5 minus 1 is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 now 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 5 choice 5 is done done with this in the reverse it is into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 and so on now this is about question number 53 then 54 now 54, 2, 3, 8, 27. Now 2, 3, 8, 27, if you observe the choices, the choices are increasing at a very faster rate and it must be under combination. Now in this combination 2 and 3, now 2 into 1 plus 1 and 3 into 2 plus 2 and 8 into 3, 24 plus 3 is 27 and 27 into 4 plus 4 and final into 5 plus 5. Now 112 into 5 will be 560 plus 5, 565 choice 4 into 5 plus 5 choice 4 is the answer 54. Then coming to question number 55. Now in this 55 check out the difference. As the numbers are increasing at a smaller rate then we need to go for the difference. Tell me what is the difference here. Now the difference between these two is 7. Next difference 92 and 106 is how much? 8 plus 6 14 and the next difference 106 and 134. Here the difference is 28. 7 14 28. 7 into 2 14. 14 into 2 28 and the next one 28 into 2 is so much 56 and so 138 plus 56 what is your answer here 190 that is choice 2 done with this now this is about paper number 641 clear